actually joining us now for more on what the new Biden-Harris administration plans to do once the transition of power is complete is Crystal Knight. She is a political and social impact strategist, the former political director of Priorities USA, which is the largest Democratic super PAC in Washington. Crystal, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So, boy, what a big job for Joe Biden and Kamala <laughs> Harris. Uh, w where do they start? Well, I mean, the first thing that they can do is tackle COVID. COVID-19 has ramaged, you know, this country. And we saw under President Donald Trump, he didn't do much. He, he failed our country in really establishing a mask mandate across the country. And so I absolutely believe in the first 100 days, um, President Biden will issue a mask mandate, get vaccinations underway, and make sure that every single American um, gets vaccinated and has equal access to the vaccinations. Crystal, one of the real challenges that Joe Biden has uh, right out of the gate is the situation that happened two weeks ago, or at least it's exemplified by that, uh, the riot at the mm -hmm. U.S. Capitol. There are millions of Americans who don't believe that his election was legitimate. Meanwhile, he has demands on his presidency from much mm -hmm. more liberal supporters. So he's really got uh, issues on both sides of the political spectrum. How is he going to deal with that? It's a great question. I believe what he'll do is reassess um, how um, the FBI, how our law enforcement, you know, bodies um, accept and take credible threats. Um, so one of the things that seemed to be the breakdown is um, the FBI, the Capitol Police, they received credible threats about um, this potential riot, this potential insurrection, and they did not actively prepare for it. They were underprepared, actually. And so I believe we'll see in a Biden administration a more prepared um, military presence, a more prepared um, police presence, a more prepared law enforcement presence where they all work with each other. And, and so there's not one silo who's deciding we have enough troops or we have enough presence in a particular area to secure federal grounds. Um, so I think that we'll see a big difference in that because the, the folks that Biden will put in place will absolutely act on the information that they're given early enough so that they can prepare for whatever is to come. Kamala Harris, making history, the first female mm -hmm. vice president uh, entering office today. Different presidents kind of handle the vice president differently. They have a different role depending on uh, who's the president very often. What do you think Kamala Harris's role is going to be? That's a great question. Well, the president, President Biden-elect, he has not officially stated what her roles and duties might include, but what we can expect is that she'll play a similar role that he played with President Obama. She will, you know, be in all of the meetings. She will take care of whatever the um, necessity, you know, whatever necessitates a vice presidential um, role or leadership. Um, so while we while we've yet to see exactly what her mission and agenda will tackle we can be assured that she will be involved in every single domestic policy issue, every single foreign policy issue, and every issue where um, security is, 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 um, is to be managed and is to be taken care of. So uh, the new president, uh, President-elect Biden, has promised diversity. Uh, he has also mm -hmm. exemplified that during the, the nominations for his cabinet. Uh, do you think he'll be able to maintain that, that push throughout his presidency? Absolutely. So this will be the first president who is creating an office on diversity and inclusion, likely to be headed by um, former Ambassador Susan Rice. And that's sending a strong signal not only to his cabinet officials, but also to the American people that he not only just cares about people um, who he not only cares about his cabinet picks being diverse, but he's sending a strong message that they want diverse people not only um, at the top level, but in thought, in leadership, um, within the within the federal government. And I think that that's something other presidents haven't done. And this is this is something that will be new and fresh for this administration. Crystal Knight is the foreign political director of Priorities USA. Crystal, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.